stop what you're doing and come on this level up journey with me hello my lovely welcome back to another youtube video if we've never met before my name's Avi. i am a transformation coach for women who are ready to up level their life up level their finances up level their spirituality just grow personally or professionally that is who i am thank you for joining me today so let's get straight into 10 steps to help you up level yourself Guys, this is one of my favorite, favorite topics to talk about, by the way. So back in 20, 2014, 2016, I got really, I wouldn't say I got serious. 2014, I started to dabble with leveling up. 2016, I'm like, yes, straight in, level up. And I've had many layers of reinventing myself, leveling it up, shifting my identity over the years. And I am where I am and I continue to that journey. And I'm inviting you on that journey with me. So step number one is to be super clear, to make that decision that, hey, I'm ready to take my life to the next level. And this is where I'm going to start from. Because we might just have a whole messy life and we don't want to get overwhelmed where we're trying to clean up our credit we're trying to lose the weight we're trying to start the business we're trying to build a relationship with god we're trying to you know start a relationship with a new partner we're doing you're doing the most too much of the most so get clear on which parts of your life one or two one or two areas of your life that you can start the up level journey for me personally i started with my space i got my home together then then i start the next thing my my wardrobe i decided to rebrand myself new aesthetic i wanted to look like look like a certain woman, feel like a certain woman, become a certain woman. So I started with from there. Moved house, moved into a smaller home. My daughter had gone off to university. So I moved into a smaller home. So I had less space to work with. And I started from there. My wardrobe was slashed significantly. I had about five bottoms, five tops, and a few pairs of shoes, and that was it. Clean slate. The things I owned, I started to feel like, hey, they represent where I'm going. So that's step number one, is to be super clear. Make the decision. So number two is to create a plan. Okay, this is where I'm going, and the, this is the plan that's going to get me to where I'm going. For in, example, me and my clothes me and my 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 um my physical space i got rid of i got rid of mismatched tupperwares i got rid of um cups that were chipped plates that were chipped that didn't represent the person i was becoming and i started to introduce pieces not all at once pieces into my life that represented who i was becoming and the plan was step by step I would do these things that aligned me to who I was becoming, little by little. One step at a time still gets you there. It doesn't have to be a major quantum leap. So that was step number two. Step number three is to be completely disciplined. Be very disciplined. And I did a video last week um, going into discipline. I'll link it here where you can go watch that video after, we, after you've completed this one. It's, go, it's discipline that's really going to take you there. Discipline and focus is going to take you there. Today, I really didn't want to do this video, but I had to be super disciplined. Ava, if you want to become a successful YouTuber, if you want to build impact, influence, income on the platform, you have to show. So I had to be disciplined and I had to go out there. So be very disciplined and stick to the plan. Do the thing even when you, when you don't want to. Last week I mentioned discipline really is leaning into the resistance. Number four is to educate yourself. There is YouTube University that's free 99. There is Google that's free. There are other social media platforms that are people adding value and will teach you a full free masterclass. Educate yourself. That is number number four. Number five is to 
unsubscribe from the distraction. Whatever platforms you're on, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, and you're tuning into gossip all the time, I beg you please unsubscribe from that because that is not helping your progress. It's not helping your growth. You really need to unsubscribe from that. So I don't know if you know Steve Harvey's daughter, Laurie Harvey, all right? People will drag her on these streets. People will drag her. And what you'll never see is you'll never see Laurie in the comments slapping back. She'll never clap back. Other people's view about you is not your problem. Do not let that stop you. If you're going to show up on social media and you're scared that, hey, I'm going to be judged. People are going to now say this, that, and the other. You have to unsubscribe from that. It's just distraction. It's just the devil trying to hold you back, right? So develop the Laurie Harvey syndrome. It's not the, your problem. It's a their problem issue. Leave that to them. Get yourself out of the noise. Get yourself out of the gossip. That, that, that's not healthy growth. All right, so that was number five. Number six is to invest in yourself, invest in your growth. You might think, Avia, invest. I'm barely, I'm barely making it. Well, you have to go out there and you have to find ways of making it. You might have to look at your finances. Hey, if there's some things I'm paying for every month, maybe you can unsubscribe from Amazon Prime. Maybe you can take on some other work online along with your nine to five to be able to invest in yourself. Because when I started, I had to get new cutleries, new Tupperware, new clothes. I didn't get it all together, but over time, I just kept investing in my up level. So you have to invest in yourself, darling. So number worry, number seven is to develop healthy relationship with money. <laughs> Woo, child, that was a big, big learning for me. I had a very unhealthy relationship with money. I had debt. I was a spender. I wasn't a I wouldn't say I was a big spenderholic, but this girl used to love running to Topshop, run to Zara, to River Island. As soon as she had some coins, she was down there. I had to start working on my money manners. I had to develop this very healthy relationship with money. I had to look at money different, treat money different, and money started to treat me different. I had to go do some programs to help me reprogram my mind when it comes to money. But... You need to have a healthy relationship with money. There need to be some boundaries, honey. Number eight is to get your ish together. Get organized. Organize yourself, darling. You cannot up-level yourself and be all over the place. Me personally, I these are some of the things that help to keep me organized. My wellness journal help me to keep myself together, help me to keep my mind together. By the way, I'll link these, I'll link these below so you, you guys can go grab them. It's from a seller, she's on Instagram, she's called Jen May, I'll link her below. See. So my wellness journal helps to get me together, my mind together, I fill it out daily. My gratitude journal, because we have to be grateful along the journey, no matter what the journey looks like, if it's hard, Lean into it and be grateful. So I have a greatness, a gratitude journal that I bought from the same lady, Jen, and also a weekly planner that keep me together. I don't like to be overwhelmed. I I do love to be intentional. This is this week. This is my to do list, and I plug them into each day, and I take off as I go along. Like today says you know what I'm doing now so you have to get yourself organized darling get it together I remember back in I don't know if it was 2016 17 somewhere there I did a course with a lady called Chanel Cooper Sykes and it was called get your ish together and that helped to gather me and she was getting herself together too she was a few steps ahead of me but she made it clear while I'm teaching you to get yourself together, she was doing it too. 
So number eight is to surround yourself with people who are aligned to your up level. People who are up leveling. People who have up leveled before. Get yourself in that space. Find out from them, learn from them, get close to them. How did you do it? How are you doing it? Can you teach me? Can you show me? Can you, like, don't gatekeep? So that's number nine, is to surround yourself with people who are aligned to where you're going. Number 10 is to find yourself support and accountability. Can I just tell you, can I just be open and honest with you, God sister? I'm actually doing this video today because when I meet with my um, accountability partner, Renee, Renee, if you're watching, hello, on Wednesday, she's going to check in on me and say, Avia, did you do the video? Did you post your videos, lady love? So because I know someone's holding me accountable, I'm doing my video. And other things hold me accountable. I have systems that hold me accountable too. I have support. My best friend, Joy, is aligned to my vision. She's aligned to where I'm growing. Going. Growing. Absolutely, where I'm going. She too is growing. She too is on a path. So I have support. I have support from two um, programs that I'm in. These people have done it before. I can say, hey, I have a question. How am I going about this right? How do I do this? They lay the path for me. So I do have support and I do have accountability. Go out there and find that. Number 10, that was number 10, the bonus. The bonus, or one of the bonuses, is to reach out to God. Reach out to Jesus. Try Jesus. Try God. You may have tried a lot of things and you've given up the moment you started. But I tell you something, you maybe haven't tried God. Introduce faith and spirituality into your journey. Because through Christ who strengthens you, you can do a whole lot. When you tap into who you are through Christ who has created you, right, you will realize that I'm aligned to the winnings. Number 10 is to give yourself grace. Be kind to yourself, be gentle to yourself, speak to yourself well, because all these things together helps. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed today's video. I thoroughly enjoyed sharing it with you because I am always on the rise. I am always on the up level. I am always getting to the next level. I love re reinventing myself, shifting my identity, and I, we're in this together. I want us to do this together. It's a us thing over here. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like. And I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to check the descriptions. I'll link things below, resources below, that's going to help you in your own journey. And also, there will be other videos around here that you can go and watch straight away that will help you, like the goal setting, like um, the other video that I did about discipline last week. Those will help you. And I'll see you next time.